Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.3 which currently is on the third beta and we have some more new features to share with you guys. Now at the beginning we thought this will actually be like an empty update with just bug fixes and improvements but it turns out it has a few new features and changes so we have been able to discover some more so let's go ahead and take a look at these new features now before we get into that let's just talk quickly here about the update now the beta 3 seems to be a bit better in my experience compared to the second beta even in performance is better we're going to take a look at that in the in a couple of minutes here we have of course a geekbench test for that but overall in performance and using it on daily basis it seems to be way smoother and a lot of glitches that we had on the second beta like the freezing of the screen especially on the app library for me has been gone a lot of like icons especially the dark ones not turning into the dark mode that has been fixed as well and overall it seems to be way better than the previous beta of iOS 18.3 so now let's move on and let's go ahead and take a look at some of the new features that we have been able to discover on the third beta of iOS 18.3 so first of all on the messages app so if you have an Apple device with Apple intelligence of course that will be an iPhone 15 Pro 15 Pro Max or any of the 16 series you know that we have the Genmoji feature well that actually was really really annoying because if you're here on iMessage and you wanted to create a new emoji you had to go here to the emoji page and then move on and of course create a new emoji well that has been fixed Apple finally has added a dedicated button for that anyway you will be able Able to find it of course the, on the place where you find all the different tools for your iMessage plus button and then we have Genmoji and just like that you can start creating your new emoji so of course being here on this side will let you like quickly have access to Genmoji but also it lets you of course just rearrange it and place it anywhere you want you will have quicker access to the Genmoji of course the new emoji creation tool there's also a change when you use the screenshot cropping tools on PDF files. So, you know, with iOS, when you go to like pages like this on Safari, if you take a screenshot, you will be able to go to full page right here. But you will notice here says once I go to the full page mode and I go to the crop section, if I go ahead and crop it right here and tap done, you will get here a pop up. It says the cropped content is not removed from the PDF content outside the crop area won't be visible in most PDF viewers but it can be made visible in some apps so it basically lets you know that there will actually be apps that might be able to uncover the part of the PDF file that you have actually cropped out of the PDF of course when taking a screenshot here on Safari creating a PDF and then using the screenshot tools in order to crop that PDF that you have created now with iOS 18.3 you know that we have a ton of changes when it comes to notifications and we're talking here about the summarization of notifications and you will notice something right here if you have enabled summarize notifications there will be apps like you can see right here shazam that will have the notifications disabled and right here it says temporary unavailable and if you try to turn it on you will basically be able to turn it on but you won't be getting summarized notifications from that app so again it shows you right here letting you know that the summarize notifications even though you can enable them won't be working for that app and this is another change that you will find on iPhone 16 Pro if you have an iPhone with the camera control then you will notice here a slight change when you go to the camera control settings so you can see right here this is iOS 18.2 or even 18.3 beta 2 it says aeaf lock now it has been changed to lock focus and exposure so basically just a wording change right there and you can see now it's actually separated from clean preview so you won't have them like this so if the clean preview will also have now its own description now these are some of the new features that we have been able to find on iOS 18.3 beta 3 so as you know iOS 18.3 doesn't have a ton of new features 
these are some of them that we have been able to discover you also have one previously added with the calculator app so if you just calculate something you will be able to actually type the equals and just calculate over that that actually was a feature before on ios but it had been removed with ios 18 and of course all the new changes to the summarized notifications basically apple has taken a step backwards here and has actually removed summarized notifications for some of the apps and you will even notice it right here when the first time when you enable summarize notifications you will get this like new preview and it will also let you know that it has actually been disabled for like news app and things like that but of course if you want to use them you can still use them for most of the apps and now let's go ahead and talk about performance. Now, this is actually really surprising from the first test that I did on iOS 18.3 beta 3 to the second one that I did today, it actually has improved a lot. So you probably know that once you have installed the new update, it will actually require a few days to settle in on the device and then it will perform as it should. And here I have the tests that I have done previously. This was the score and this is the score from today. So you can see, on the multi-core score there we have a huge increase so it's currently at 7451 while the first test here was at 7356 while we also have a slight increase there of five points on the single core score 2969 here with the third beta and this Laura right here like the first test being on 2964 so overall you will also be able to notice it it actually performs way better than the previous betas now one thing that hasn't actually improved a lot is the battery life so if you go to battery right here you can see i have here the last 10 days and we have a battery here at 91 percent battery health so you can see how it did perform actually in the last few days so right here with about 120 percent battery nine hours 35 minutes here we have about 120 percent battery again eight hours 41 minutes 140 percent battery here 11 hours 46 minutes and right here about 130 percent battery at 9 hours 25 minutes i mean we might have to wait for a few more days and see how it actually will perform as of course this is a newer beta it has been installed on the on the device like four or five days ago so let's just wait and see how it will perform on the next few days but currently it doesn't actually look that great so what to expect next when talking about ios 18.3 well i would expect apple to actually release another beta before they move on to the rc version and that will most likely happen this week if it doesn't happen today it might happen tomorrow and then i would expect apple to move on with the rc version in the last week of january that most likely will be the 27th of january the day that apple releases the rc version to ios 18.3 and then of course the public release usually it happens on a monday and i would expect apple to also do that this time around as well so february the 3rd in my opinion will be the date when apple releases ios 18.3 to the public now that same week i would also expect apple to release the first beta of ios 18.4 which should be a way bigger update than ios 18.3 so if they release on the third the ios 18.3 to the public then most likely the fourth or the fifth of february will be the date that we get the first dev beta of ios 18.4 of course with all the new features the new siri and all that stuff so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful if you did smash that like button and of course subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you on the next one